So in this video, we're going to talk about question 112 from chapter 2, which asks us to complete the following table. And in that table, we have a row for the symbol, um, for an element symbol, for an atomic symbol. Um, and then we have a row for the number of protons that that symbol indicates and the number of neutrons that that symbol indicates. So before we do this, it's worth going over how we write these atomic symbols. Um, so usually we write the um, symbol for the element, um, which is a letter or a few letters. Here I've just written it as X. And then as a superscript to the left, um, so in the top left, we write what we call the mass number, which I've written as A. So the mass number is equal to the number of neutrons plus the number of protons. And then as a subscript to the left, so to the bottom left, we have what we call the atomic number Z. So the atomic number is just equal to the number of protons that we have. So knowing that, let's go ahead and start picking through this table. So we have helium with a mass number of four and an atomic number of two. So because our atomic number is two, we know that we have two pro protons. Um, and because our mass number is four, we know that four minus two protons means that we have two neutrons. Because remember, our mass number is the sum of the protons and neutrons. So helium-4 has two protons and two neutrons. Um, next, we have neon with a mass number of 20 and an atomic number of 10. So the atomic number of 10 tells us we have 10 protons. And then a mass number of 20, a mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. So we subtract 10 from 20, and that tells us we have 10 neutrons. Then we have titanium with a mass number of 48 and an atomic number of 22. So our atomic number of 22 tells us there's 22 protons. And then 48 minus 22 will give us the number of neutrons that we have, and that's 26. Um, so we have 26 neutrons. Um, then we have osmium with a mass number of 190 and an atomic number of 76. So again, the atomic number tells us how many protons we have. So we have 76 protons. And then 190 minus 76 will give us the number of neutrons that we have. Um, so that's 114. So 190 minus 76 gives us 140 neutrons. And then finally, the last one we have is cobalt with a mass number of 50 and an atomic number of 27. So we know that we have 27 protons because of the atomic number. And then 50, our mass number, minus 27, the number of protons we have, gives us the number of neutrons that we have. So 50 minus 27 gives us 23. So we have 23 neutrons.